this video is to convert the negative output from this alarm system to positive ones that the vehicle can actually use to unlock and lock the doors. And we need an interface hardware to do that, which is a relay. I have three relays for the purpose of also popping the trunk. I got this relay as well as this box just as reference so I can reference to what I'm doing while I'm wiring this up. So let's start. This is how I wire my um, relays. I like to keep everything short, neat, and unified so that there's a less likely chance of something going wrong. And then I can understand exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So this is my 12 volt rail and let's just start. We have pin 30 which is your relay source so I'm going to connect my 12 volt source to pin 30. Then I got the wire looped over and crimped into a crimp cap or connector and we're connecting this to pin 85 which is my coil positive source. So this is relay number one. So 12 volts is done on relay number one. So let's move over to relay number two. We have pin 30 on relay number two, which is my 12 volt source. Then we got the wire looped over to pin 85, which is my coil source on pin 85, relay number two. So let's move over to relay number three. And this relay, this third relay is for my trunk pop. So if you're not doing trunk pop, you only need two relays. But being that I'm doing the trunk pop, I might as well just show you guys how to network all your relays. So we have pin 30, which is your 12 volt source, connected on relay number three. And this is the output and the finale of the positive 12 volts connection for this relay setup and that goes to pin 85. So we're done as far as 12 volts. And it's better to do it like then in this way so that you don't confuse yourself. So then we have 12 volt 1. That's going in here. 12 volts 2, 12 volts 3, 12 volts 4, 12 volts 5, 12 volts 6. Now we move on to our triggers. So what I did was take the door lock connector and just tap in a couple of um, terminals at the end. So we're going to start with lock. So we're going to take our negative lock pulse, negative lock pulse wire and connect it to pin 86. We're going to take our negative unlock pulse wire and connect it to pin 86 of relay 2. We're going to take our trunk release wire and connect it to pin 86 of relay 3. Now, what I like to do to not confuse myself, and I think you guys should do this as well, is cap off the connections that you're not using. So we're not using pin 87A at all. So we want to cap these off so that we don't confuse ourselves. Okay, so these are capped off. These are no connections right here. These are our NC connections. All right, boom, that's done. Now, we gotta take the same colors so that we don't confuse ourselves. It doesn't matter about the, I didn't have extra on purple wire, so I had to use a different color. But these are the primary colors that we need to keep the same. So we have pin 87, connect that to our lock wire. So these two wires are the same color. So when I send my negative pulse, it's gonna send a positive over to convert it to a positive. So we, we got the lock taken care of. Now we do the same for the unlock wire. So when we send a negative pulse to the unlock wire, it's gonna throw positive pulse to the blue unlock wire and then we have the same for the trunk so that's that's how you do it